Well, welcome back. It's popular in uh, bridal couture and catwalks, beads and sequins, but there's an art to it as well. We are showing it I off know, right now. It's beautiful. called tambour beading. It's on with Bob Haven. He's the principal teacher of tambour beading in North America. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Tell us a little bit about what yeah, you what have, we given, have on? given agility to wear. <laughs> Those are a couple of practice pieces that I did back in 2002, maybe 2003, before I went to Paris to learn how to do it. <laughs> that's, wow. that's the piece I did when I was at Paris at Lesage doing a professional certificate course. And it's so intricate with so many yes. different styles oh, yeah. of beading and textures and all of that. So what goes into putting these pieces together? Well, that about 150 hours of instruction and about 300 hours outside of class wow. Wow. to finish it. Um, but once you get good at it, and it's all done with this little teeny hook cool. uh, and from the underneath. Mm -hmm. So you don't see what you're doing. It's you're only looking at the backside. Okay. So it, but once you get good at it, you can move very quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, and your work was recently featured in a prominent show in New Zealand. Well, in New Zealand, that was 2007 oh, okay. when that piece went. But there were only four of us from the U.S. that had pieces accepted into the show, and that was um, yeah in Wellington, New Zealand, the World of Wearable Art. And I got wow. to spend ten days in New Zealand. It was fabulous. Wow. Fabulous. So what are you going to do for us today? Well, I'm going to do us? a quick little demo so you can see the back of the frame. I've got my beads on a, on a thread, and I'm just going to take them underneath and stitch them on, basically one at a time. It's just a little chain stitch, but it's um, the hardest part for anybody learning this is that your left hand is doing 90% of the work. Well, and oh. how, how do you learn it though? Because, you know, are there books or? There are no books. Yeah. Because technically it is the, it's like a dance of the hands executed with the grace of the waltz and the precision of a tango. Ooh. Oh, wow. It has to be, it's like a Swiss watch. Everything has to be synchronized and perfectly aligned. If, if the hook is off by one degree, it won't work. If you don't apply pressure at a certain time during the process, it won't work. Um, for instance, when I put my, my hook in and turn it around and bring it out, it catches on mm -hmm. the fabric. But if I put a tiny bit of pressure on it, it comes right out. Oh. But in learning it, most people that have learned it, learned it by watching somebody do it and took them 10 years to finally get it. They don't know they're doing that pressure. Mm -hmm. And even the ladies at Lesage couldn't tell you that that's why it works, because it works for them, but it doesn't work for anybody else. Well, we have a special guest today. Yes. Nancy Cox yes. is with yes. us. Yes. We're showing off the designs. She is as well, so tell us a little bit about what she's wearing. This yeah. is one of the two pieces that went to the World of Wearable Art in New Zealand in 2007. Um, it's technically, it's an uchikake, which is an over kimono, and I used that as a design because it gave me a large flat space to put a lot of detail on. It was all beaded. The dress that was worn underneath it was all beaded, and I worked on that in the evenings for about two years before it went to, went to New Zealand. And it was on their show for, two, for 10 performances in Wellington, and then the museum kept it for a year, and then finally sent it back to me, and now it lives in a box. We only have about 30 seconds left. The, the dress next yes. to her, tell the us about that. The dress next to it is one of my bucket list things for the year. It was a reproduction of a 20s vintage dress mm -hmm. from the Fashion History Museum in, oh, wow. in uh, Cambridge, Ontario. I got to sit in their museum for two weeks and do the beadwork while people were coming through the gallery so that um, I always wanted to do a, a replica for a museum. And this fabulous little museum in Cambridge, Ontario said, yeah, let's do it. So. There she is. She's going back to Canada pretty soon. She's beautiful. Yeah, well, you have an incredible talent. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of it with us today. Oh, my pleasure. And you can find out more about Bob Haven. Just check out his Facebook page, Bead Embroidery and Design Studio. And stay with us. Our pet of the day is next.